Hello, this is a tutorial on how to do, um, how to calculate work. So, in this question I wrote up is, a man put a force of 200 newtons into a door. The door goes 3 meters. How much work did the man use? So, just before we start off, newtons can also be kg times meters a second squared. So when we get down to the units uh, for the answer, it's going to show you what we do. So for this equation, so first we don't know what W is. So W, we have no idea what it is. Um, the force we know is 200 newtons. So 200 newtons. And distance equals... 3 meters. So this is a really easy one, but the equation for this is W equals force times 3, or not 3, sorry, distance. So plug that in, W equals 200 N times Three m. So we can calculate that pretty easy. Two hundred times three is six hundred. So that's gonna be w. But now we just need to find the units. So we take newtons and meters, <coughs> and we calculate them. So kg times meters second squared times m so to make it easier m over 1 helps but that ends up as kg times meters squared and seconds squared now I can also simplify that down to joules and it's a lot easier so work equals 600 joules. Okay, so a child throws a bouncy ball 600, or throws a bouncy ball with 600 newtons. The ball goes 20 meters. How much work did the child do? So, I didn't write this part right here out correctly, but um, it should, that 600 newtons is the force. So, W, again, we do not know what that is. Um, now, the force, 600 newtons. Or you could write it 600 kg times meters a second squared. But... For now, we're just going to have it as 600 newtons. That's how we're going to write it. It's a lot smaller and simpler. So, now we write down our distance, which is 20 meters. So, equation again is W equals F times D. Plug that in. W equals 600 newtons times 20 meters. So calculate that and that equals W equals 12,000. And then of course you multiply the N and the M which it always turns out joules or kg times meters squared and seconds squared. So you can either have it for the units in the end, um, kg times meters squared, seconds squared, or joules. It's a lot easier to have joules, but it's important to know that right there. And this helps a lot understanding the units and everything. And that's all.